What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about the current status of the iOS 11.4.1, iOS 11.4 and iOS 12 jailbreak so that you can make an idea on what's currently going on and on which version you should stay. Now, as you probably know, I haven't been making videos for an entire week because I was battling with the flu. So I felt the need to update you guys on what's currently going on. And there are a few things currently going on. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare Phone, which allows you to transfer your data easier than with iTunes and fix your device if it's broken using their iOS system repair. Check the program out in the link below. So if you take a look in here, you can see that iOS 12 was unsigned by Apple, but iOS 12.0.1 is still signed. Now this is actually very important because iOS 12.0 and iOS 12.0.1 share the same security changes. So if you update, for example, from iOS 12.0 to iOS 12.0.1, it's pretty much the same thing in terms of jailbreaking. However, I do not recommend updating to iOS 12 if you're running iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1, and you're going to see why. So jailbreaking, we have exploits for iOS 11.4.1 that were released by Iron Beer. And if you remember, he posted this in here, which is called Dejax New, which pretty much describes the uh, exploit, goes to talk about about Tango Team and the uh, iOS 7.1.2 and many other things. So if you want to read the entire write-up, it's available in here. But in a nutshell, a very important exploit has been released by Anne Beer, and it works for iOS 11.4.1, iOS 11.4, and so on. But it doesn't work on iOS 12. Everything that Ian Beer has released has been patched on iOS 12, which kind of sucks because if you're already running iOS 12, you can make use of none of these exploits. However, what Ian Beer has released is not enough for a full jailbreak for the moment. The tricky part currently is getting the task for PAD0 or the kernel task port. So yeah, we have problems with that for the moment. The exploit doesn't provide that. And of course, that's something we do need in order to perform our jailbreak magic. However, the situation is better than for iOS 12. For iOS 12, we do not have any published exploit for the moment. And yes, there is Yu Mang in here who stated that he has iOS 12 jailbreak exploits that are pretty good and so on. And of course, if they work on iOS iOS 12, they might as well work on iOS 11.4.1, unless the vulnerability has been introduced in iOS 12. However, after this posting here, which was made back on September 23rd, there was no update from Yumang on his exploits or any releases. He said in here, quote, I'm looking at a release timeline for iOS 12.1. So that's pretty much it in terms of exploits. iOS 11.4.1 does have some that are already released, but they're not enough for a full jailbreak. However, iOS 12 will get apparently some exploits in the future if Yumang delivers. Now, moving back a little bit to the iOS 11.3.1, while I was sick, Electra has been updated a little bit with a better Cydia and some better binaries. So if you're running the Electra and you have an update to the Cydia in the Cydia application, then you should definitely install that update because it makes Cydia actually faster than it was on the Electra. Pretty much simulates the way Uncover works, you know, Uncover being a brand new jailbreak by pound to owned so yeah you don't have to get any new version from here the update was distributed in Cydia so you just have to install that if you didn't already because it's actually very important since Coolstar announced the Electra updates back on October 18 he said quote Electra updates for both iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2 and iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3.1. At the same time, just a few minutes before I started making this video, Coolstar announced some updates to the uh, Anemone. He seems to be trying to update it, and of course we do know that there will be an Anemone version 3.0 announced by Coolstar, but of course being Coolstar, we have no idea when that will be released. However, Anemone users have that in mind, he will update at some point the Anemone. Now, the last thing I would like to tackle in this video is Cileo. If you remember, this was supposed to be some Cydia alternative, and while it's still coming, it's still actively being developed, it hasn't been released yet, and the work started back on July 17. So yeah, it takes quite a while for them to develop it for some reason. However, Coolstar posted this back on October 23. He said, quote, With the latest update, the Dynastic repo is now a default repo on Electra, in preparation for Cileo launching soon. Now, I'm not entirely sure what he means by soon, and of course, as I said, 
we're talking about cool star which soon may mean even months. So yeah, if you're looking forward to Celio being released, then yeah, it might come up soon. But Cydia has been updated both by Pound to Own and apparently by Cool Star in Electra, so there is really no need for Cilio anymore other than just a changed user interface and probably some speed improvements compared to Cydia, but Cydia has really caught up in the last couple of months. So yeah, that is that. I really hope this video helped you to make a decision on which iOS version to stay and I really hope it summed up what happened in the last week in the iOS community. Thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow and till the next time don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, activate notifications by clicking the bell and peace out.